In our last episode, we went to the movies and for the first time started telling the computer how we wanted it to think. In this episode, we're going to work with words, which computer languages oftentimes refer to as strings, since they are interpreted as strings of characters. In our last two episodes, we worked briefly with strings through comparison operators, of checking if a variable or cell was equal to the word we defined in our expression. You probably noticed, unlike numbers, when we are working with words, we wrap them in quotation marks so our program knows we want these treated differently than we do numbers. Coincidentally, my computer has been running kinda slow lately, which probably means I need to remove some files off of it. I know that some file extensions tend to be larger than others, like MP4 or Photoshop files. So I want to be able to organize my files by extension. I have so many files though, it would be too time consuming to go through them one by one to figure out each file type. So I'm hoping Python and Excel can help me separate the file extensions from the file. Let's see what this looks like first in Excel. So there are three main functions that allow you to work with what are called substrings in Excel. Substrings being a smaller segment of a larger string. In our case, the file extension is a substring of the full file name string. The left and right functions were designed for just such a problem. Depending on which you use, they return the number of characters you specify from either the start or the end of a string. In our first two files, it is relatively easy for us to get the file extension. We just use the right function, select our file name, followed by a comma, and the number three since mp4 is only three characters long, and this function starts from the end of the string. Or we could use the left function in order to get the name of the file without the extension. The only problem here is, you will notice I had to know the exact length of the file name before the extension in order to get the full name in both files. This isn't really feasible with file names and you will also notice the bottom two file extensions I haven't touched. Why? For a very similar reason. Not all file extensions on my computer are exactly three characters long. Before we can tackle this, we need to take a look at the mid function because I would say Python works more similarly to this function than the previous two. Instead of returning the specified number of characters from the start or end of the string, the mid function, you need to first tell it where you want it to start, and then how many characters after that you would like. In our case, since the M in MP4 is the 13th character over, we want a total of three characters in our substring. We would do something like this. Now let's jump into Python and start working with substrings there. We will be working with the same files, so I have went ahead and already stored each in its own variable. Now I said Python views substrings more like the mid function in Excel. And I said this because in Python, you explicitly define the start and the end of the substring. This in Python is aptly named slicing. Let me show you what I mean. First you type your variable name, followed directly by an open bracket, then a colon, and then your closed bracket. Inside the brackets, on each side of the colon, define your start and end. Left of the colon is the number of the character you want to start with, and the right of the colon is the number of the character you want to end with. One very important thing to note is that Python views the starting character of a string at position 0, not 1. So if we wanted our Comic-Con 2016 file name, we can't do this. But instead, we would do this. Now you can also just leave either side of the colon completely empty and Python interprets that as the start or end of your string depending on which side of the colon it is on. So we could do this and still get the same result. And we just get the whole file name since it thinks we want the start of the string to the end of the string. You're probably missing the right function from Excel. Since all you had to tell it was you wanted the last three characters to get back our first two file extensions. In Python, we would have to do something like this now. Luckily, Python is way smarter than that and also can count starting from the end of a string. You just use negative numbers instead of positive numbers. So if we wanted to duplicate our write function in Excel, we could just do this. Or really more succinctly, since we want all the way to the end of the string, we just learned how we can slice and dice words which we call strings to get other substrings, whether it's at the front of the string, at the end, or even in the middle. However, we are still stuck on our two other example file extensions and any extension that isn't three characters long. 
How do we work with these? In our next episode of Data Dorks, we're going to look at how we search for specific characters inside of a string so we can use that to then work more easily with extensions of all character lengths.